four years of Warhammer Plus subscription brought us four unique minis that were only available for subscribers. First year brought us Vindicare Assassin, a really cool mini of a Vindicare sniper in some sort of Imperial Saint ruins. The second year brought Azrak the Annihilator, a World Eater Terminator, a really cool mini. Third year was marked by underwhelming Kasarkin Sergeant Mordens. And the fourth year was Inquisitor Ostromandes, a really inquisitive looking fella. Not all of those minis were created equal. I personally think that the first one was the coolest one <laughs> to bring people in. But uh, I did a poll and apparently people think that Azrach the Annihilator is the coolest of all four. And that is why today we're gonna be opening and building this Azrach the Annihilator. This is the box that I have here. So we can see that this mini is very, very cool looking. It's ornate. I'm not entirely sure if it has any options for the head or anything. But this is a nice Terminator. Let's uh, go ahead and open it. Inside we get an old style mini frame with uh, this plastic holder, a base, we don't need this, and of course instruction set. Looking in the instructions we can immediately see that no optional assembly is present, it is only one head here, and let's take a look at the frame. So the frame looks kinda very cool, it's ornate, has a lot of details, people who paint will be thrilled to paint this guy. Yeah, let's uh, go ahead and build it. We start with the back of the torso, bit one. This is unmistakably bit number one. Bit number one is cleaned up. It is surprisingly easy to clean up. Not a lot of mold line. Let's go for bit number two. This is bit two, the front part of the torso. Bit two is prepared. Let's combine them together see how they should sit very very straightforward yeah you will need glue for this mini there are no pins here so i'm just gonna go ahead and glue it here we go our torso is ready looks really bloated <laughs> i guess uh, by powers of horn then we go for the leg protection three and four. This is bit number three, and this is bit number four. I have cleaned up bit three. Let's dry fit it. Should be on the right leg. Some grenades are hanging from his belt. All right, let's glue it. Some glue here and here. There we go. And now to the bit number four. Bit four is equally ornate and it is supposed to be sitting on the left leg over here like this. Let's glue it. Okay, we have both legs. Moving forward, they tell us to build the bolter seven and eight. This is bit seven. And this is bit 8. Both parts of his weapon are prepared. They should be combined together like this. So this is a storm bolter, but uh, on steroids, I guess. <laughs> and uh, before we glue them together, I suggest we drill some holes over here. For this mini, I had to use the largest available drill in my possession. And uh, I am quite satisfied with the result. So the holes are pretty much centered, more or less, but uh, that is extremely unusual. So it says about uh, the size of this bolter rounds, it should be enormous. Let's glue this gun. There we go. The gun is prepared. Before we put the gun on the body, let's go ahead and uh, prepare legs first. I want this gun to fix itself perfectly. We start with the right leg five. This is beat number five. 
bit number five is cleaned up. Let's try it on the mini. Yeah, perfect. And now let's glue it. We're gonna put some glue here and here, all over the place. And uh, we're gonna put his boots like that. Perfect. Now to bit number six. This is bit six. Bit six is ready to go. It should be sitting here like this. And I'm gonna glue it directly. And this is our bit six. Splendid. Look at this, guys. Look at this. That's amazing. That's amazing. I think now we can try to put the arm into place it should be sitting here like this so there is a very distinct look over here this look there is no way to mess it up i'm gonna put some glue over here and i'm gonna glue the arm yeah the arm definitely should be here before we put the shoulder guard Technically, you might want to paint this arm first before attaching to the body because in some places it feels kinda it is a little bit too close. But uh, I think it's still gonna be doable if you want to paint it perfectly just to put it on the body and paint it later. Anyways, we move forward to the arm built from beats 9 and 10. We start with beat number 9. This is beat 9. I suspect this is a chain feast or something. Beat 9 is cleaned up. Now we go to beat 10. This is beat 10, part of a hand. Beats 9 and 10 are prepared. Let's see how they should sit together. Something like this. So he has some claws here. In addition to the this small chainsaw. Let's glue it. The left hand is prepared. We're gonna give it a little bit of rest to sit tight. And we're gonna go to the head number 13. Of course, what else could it be? 13. <laughs> this is a cool head. And this is also a really tiny hat. Make sure you don't drop it on the floor unless you want to have your Azdrak the Annihilator to be a headless terminator for the Halloween. Anyways, let's take a look how it should sit. You see there is a lock over there, so there is no way to mess this up. He's very angry. And uh, I'm gonna glue it now. I'm gonna put some glue here. And the lock should do the rest for me. Just like that. Nice. Let's try a fist with a chain. Sitting perfectly here. I'm gonna put some glue over here. And I'm gonna glue it now. Other hand is fixed. Now we move to the shoulder pads 11 and 12. We start with 11, which is a right one. This is beat number 11. Beat number 11 is prepared. It should be sitting over here. And guess what? There is a lock, which is really, really, really nice. So I'm gonna glue it. Lovely. Sits perfectly. Now to the second shoulder pad 12. This is beat 12. The second shoulder pad is prepared. It also has a lock, so there is no way to mess this up either. I'm gonna glue it now. Nice, nice, nice. And now we need to put him on the base. This is our base. Let's check it, looking good. So he is supposed to be standing somewhat like this. Let's glue him. Dropping him on a base. 
checking if the head is in the middle. So as you can see, it almost is. And uh, yeah, this is our Azrak the Annihilator. Wow, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Isn't he amazing? Isn't he amazing? It was a lot of fun building him. Let's compare him to some other minis. First, let's see how he stands against a new Primaris Terminator. So this is a Sergeant from Leviathan on the right and Azrak on the left. As you can see, these minis are almost of the same size, which uh, makes total sense because the new Terminators, yeah, they are actually exactly of the same size if you if you compare them like that. And because new Terminators officially are still old Terminators, so yeah really 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 epic scale and now the visionary from the kill team box of course uh, also chaos worshiper but of a smaller scale because he is not a terminator which makes perfect sense looking really cool okay so what do we have to say about this fine miniature first of all i am really surprised how well it is done it was really easy to remove mold line here it was almost no mold line to be honest so it took me approximately half an hour to assemble and uh, i would consider that to be fairly fast so i will give this mini five loyalist skulls out of five for the easy to build part and the same five loyalist skulls out of five for the fun of building it because there were locks everywhere you could not really mess up anything here and it was just purely enjoyable it was a really satisfying experience of building this miniature. And especially since this is a Terminator, even though it was like this is like a Chaos Terminator, but still, it is really, really, really cool. Another cool part was that I had to use the largest drill on this gun, because I don't use this drill <laughs> that often. Usually you use that drill for larger kind of uh, weapons. But his Storm Bolter is apparently imbued with power of corn and is shooting really, really large bolts. I, I don't even know how they fit here. I don't know. It, it just works. It's magic, guys. We're in the far future. They just found a way to make it, make it happen. So yeah, by far it looks like this mini is the coolest mini of all four. That's our there for the Warhammer Plus subscribers and uh, yeah I can understand why this is overall a really nice mini a lot of details I will be not surprised to hear that people are enjoying painting it because it has a lot of details and it looks it looks incredibly cool yeah really nice mini and I guess this is gonna be all for today my friends let me know in the comment section below what do you think of Azrak the Annihilator do you like world eaters are you hyped? And uh, I will see you guys in the next videos. Max is out. Take care. Bye.